Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews, and Boker Tob. This Shabbat we will learn about seeking the gifts of Yah. What is your gift? So let's look at what a gift is. A gift is something that is usually given to you by someone like your mommy or your daddy or your grandmother or your grandfather or your sister or your brother or your bestest, bestest friend. When someone gives you a gift, they want you to be happy with what they've given to you because they picked it out just for you. The really cool thing about gifts is that they can be given at any time. Whatever day a gift is given, that's a special day. Little Hebrews, did you know that Yah has given us many special gifts? Well, He has. One of the very first gifts Yah gave us, little Hebrews, is life. Genesis 2, verse 7 tells us, And Yah formed the man out of the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils breath of life. And the man became a living being. What a beautiful gift from Yah. He made us from the dust of the ground and breathed life into our nostrils. Isn't that a beautiful gift, little Hebrews? Yah gave us life. If we look at Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19, Yah had been talking to us about choosing good or, and about the blessings and the cursing. And Yah told us this, I have called the heavens and the earth as witnesses today against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessings and the curse. Therefore, you shall choose life, so that you live, both you and your seed. Little Hebrew, Yah gave us the gift of life, and told us how to choose, so that we would keep the gift of life that He gave us. Yah said, choose life, so that you live, both you and your seed. Little Hebrews, you remember what a covenant is? You know, it's an agreement, a promise that Yah made with us. Well, covenants are gifts too, little Hebrews. Here's why a covenant is a gift. You see, Yah called Father Abraham, Moses, and the Hebrew people to set them apart from the world and to himself. Not because he had to, but because he is a loving and kind father. He gave us the gift to be his people and he be our father, our Yale, our mighty one. He gave us the perfect Ten Commandments to live by because he wanted to show us that he loved us enough to give us a gift that would teach us how to act. I would not want to even imagine how we would be if Yah did not give us commandments to follow. We would be totally doing all the wrong things, probably all the time. Toda Yah for giving us the gift of the laws and commandments. Well, what about the prophets, little Hebrews? Do you think Yah gave the prophets as gifts our nation? Remember that Yah has always sent a prophet to the Hebrews to warn them of what was going to happen. I am so glad that Yah sent Noah to warn the people and gather the animals before the flood came, even though the people did not listen. Noah was a gift that Yah sent to the people to warn them, little Hebrews, that the flood was coming. What about Jonah? You remember Jonah? He is the prophet that Yah sent to the people of Nineveh to warn them that their great wickedness had come up before him and he was going to destroy the city. And of course, our Messiah, Yehoshua, as we know, was all Yah's, we're, we're all Yah's bins. As we know, we're all Yah's bins and bots. But Yehoshua is Yah's unique son. Unique little Hebrews means the only one of its kind, you see. Yehoshua was sent to us as a gift, little Hebrews. He lived life perfect as Yah intended it to be lived. Yehoshua warned our people of the end times. He taught the emissaries how to live a Yah-filled life. 
He shared his own life with us by being put to death on the stake that we may have a way back to Yah. That we could be back into covenant with Yah. What a beautiful gift, little Hebrews. And what about Yah's Ruach HaKodesh? Yah's Ruach is here with us, helping us to understand the spiritual things of Yah teaching us how to stay out of wicked things, guiding our footsteps and the words we speak every day. Yah has never left us alone here on this earth, little Hebrews. He has always given us a gift to watch over us. And if we look deeper into our souls, we know that Yah has given us the gifts of faith, which means you believe without a doubt the gift of hope, which means you are looking forward to Yah's promise, and the gift of charity, which means kindness. These are those gifts that let us know without a doubt that Yah and Yehoshua are real, that we are looking forward to the end of our 400 year captivity and for Yah to take us back home to the land he promised us and that we have Yah's Shalom so deep in our hearts and souls that while the world is acting goofy and mean and just ugly attitudes we can always stay calm and be kind. Little Hebrews, Yah gave us some really special gifts he gave these special gifts to his people that we wouldn't always be fooled by Hashatan. Yah protects his people, little Hebrews, so he gave certain gifts to teach people. We can read in Ephesians 4 and verse 11 and 12, and he himself gave some as emissaries and some as prophets and some as evangelists and some as shepherds and teachers for the perfecting, making something perfect, okay, of the set-apart ones, that's us, the Hebrews, the set-apart ones, to the work of service to a building up of the body of Messiah. Now, although Yah gave each of these gifts to individual people, they all work together, little Hebrews. Just like if Yah had not breathed the breath of life into the dust that he made into man, then man may not have been become a speaking living soul. So the dust of the ground and the breath of life were two of Yah's gifts put together to make man. If we have shepherds to watch over Yah's people, but no teachers to teach Yah's people, then what good would that be? The people would not even know Yah's word. So what would be the need of a shepherd to over just any old someone? Wouldn't be worth anything. Each gift that Yah gives us goes together with another, and another, and another to make the body of Messiah whole or complete. Think about this, little Hebrews. If you took a flower seed and planted it into the ground, but never watered it, the seed would not grow into a flower because it was never watered. The water works to wet the ground and the seed, and it makes the dirt mushy so that the seed can get food from the dirt. Then the seed can begin to crack open and push its way through the dirt and you begin to see a flower growing out of the dirt. The dirt, the seed, and the water had to work together to make that flower grow. You see what I'm saying? Now all the gifts that Yah has given his people have to work together so that the one body in the Messiah Yehoshua can grow and be strong standing in speaking the word of Yah in working and teaching and living set apart unto Yah. Little Hebrews, here's another gift Yah has promised. In Revelation 21 verse 3 it says, And I heard a loud voice from the heaven saying, See, 
the booth of Yah is with men, and he shall dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yah himself shall be with them, and be their yell. Do you see that, little Hebrews? Oh my Yah. Yah will be with his people. Hallelujah. That is a beautiful, beautiful gift. Now stop for a moment and think about what Yah has given to you as a gift. I know that your gift is beautiful because it's from Yah. As you continue to grow in the truth of Yah, little Hebrews, your gift will continue to grow and become more and more powerful. So continue to trust Yah in all things. Know that He has given special gifts to each of His people, but those gifts must, must work together to become one. And that, little Hebrews, is our lesson on seeking the gifts of Yah. What is your gift? And now we will ask you some questions. Shalom.